We hear a lot about the impact of climate change on the ice caps and polar bears. But what about us? How will a changing climate impact our physiology? Our planet is heating up, with average global temperatures set to rise further in the decades to come. Humans are tropical animals, so we've evolved to withstand pretty warm conditions. And when things get hotter, like during a heat wave, a process called acclimatization kicks in after a few days. Our core body temperature drops, and heat travels out to our extremities where it's released, ensuring that we don't overheat. But it turns out that some of us can adapt better to the heat than others. In the late 90s, a group of American scientists wanted to test whether a person's age would affect their ability to withstand hotter daily temperatures. They put younger and older adults in special suits and pumped hot water inside to increase skin temperatures. They found that in the older men, blood flow to their skin was less efficient than in their younger counterparts. That suggests older people can't lose heat as quickly in hot conditions, which could cause problems like heat stroke and even increase the risk of death from heart attacks. And it's not just the heat we have to worry about. Air pollutants like carbon dioxide are causing the planet to heat up, and there are many other pollutants in the air that have harmful effects on the body. The most dangerous air pollutants for our health are particles. Particles can be made of different substances and have different sizes. It's actually the smallest, invisible, ultra-fine particles, commonly found in vehicle emissions, that are the most harmful. These particles are small enough to travel deep into our lungs and even into our bloodstream. There, they play havoc with the cardiovascular system, changing the rhythm of the heart, thickening the blood, making arteries more stiff, and even leading to cardiovascular disease. So, reducing emissions will improve the health of the planet and us. But what about other measures to tackle global warming? Our dietary demands also produce air pollution from agriculture, and the loss of trees that absorb the gases that cause global warming. So moving from a meat to a more plant-based diet is one solution that could help ease some of these problems. The challenge is that plant-based proteins can lack some essential amino acids, the building blocks of life. We need these amino acids to build muscle protein as well as other crucial body tissues, such as the liver, bone, stomach and even the brain. And like bricks in a wall, if certain amino acids are missing, then the structure of the body tissue, including muscle, will be weaker. That's not to say that we can't get the required amino acids from a plant-based diet, but a carefully considered and balanced diet will be needed to prevent muscle loss and reduce climate change. Huge strides are being made by scientists of all kinds to assess the effect that climate change will likely have on our lives and how we can prevent it. And physiologists are playing a key role in that vital mission.